guys, I'm Olympia Peace Child. Before the video starts, like in the video and subscribe for a Wednesday and Sunday video every week. Okay, so this topic that's not spoken about a lot, I want to talk about my mental health and how it affects me in my life, YouTube and other things I do. I think I have social anxiety because I have a lot of the symptoms, but until the virus is gone, we can't actually get it properly diagnosed. So what is social anxiety? Many people occasionally worry about social situations, but someone with social anxiety feels overly worried before and after and during them. The symptoms for social anxiety are worrying about everyday activities such as meeting strangers, starting conversations, speaking on the phone, working or shopping, avoiding or worrying a lot about social activities such as group conversations, eating with company and parties, always worrying about doing something you think is embarrassing such as blushing, sweating or appear appearing incompetent, finding it difficult to do things when others are watching. You may feel like you're being watched and judged all the time. Fear of being criticised, avoid eye contact or have low self-esteem. Often have symptoms like feeling sick, sweating, trembling or pounding heartbeat, palpations. Having panic, panic attacks where you have an overwhelming sense of fear and anxiety, usually only for a few minutes. So how does social anxiety affect me personally? My social anxiety means I find it difficult to talk on chats with lots of people, such as on my Discord or the club's Discord. I struggle to feel comfortable in big or new friendship groups and take longer to adjust to new friends or people in my life. I struggle starting conversations and will often feel left out due to my nervousness and reluctance to join in. Big group chats often make me feel sad because I see lots of people being able to talk but without worrying and it makes me feel like I'm the odd one out and no one else has this particular anxiety but in reality lots of people have social anxiety, especially teenagers, so you are never alone. Texting is also made difficult as I often feel overly worried about how the receiver will interpret my message and often end up deleting it. If I do send the message, it probably means that I've read over it about 10 times checking for errors or I've pressed the send button before I can actually back out. The feelings of anxiety and worry that I get from sending one message is huge. This feeling generally comes from the idea that I'm going to regret what I said or be judged on my idea later. This is similar to what happens in real life social situations. I find myself unable to speak to people that are strangers to me or I barely know, which is not uncommon. However, this nervousness often causes me to clam up and be unable to speak or have a panic attack. I am constantly fearing what I am doing is attracting too much attention or is wrong. This is usually why I don't like going fast as I like to make sure it's, uh, that it's okay fast. If I have to be fast for something, I like to take a friend with me as it causes me less embarrassment if we're mistaken about it. This helps in the long run because I struggle to get past embar an embarrassing event, re recurrently thinking back to it years after it happened with the same embarrassment I felt at the time. So how do you overcome social anxiety? It differs from person to person, but the best ways are trying to understand more about your anxiety by thinking about or writing down what goes through your mind and how you, have, how you behave in such certain social situations. It can, help keep a, it can help to keep a diary. Try some relaxation techniques, such as breathing exercises for stress. Break down challenging situations into smaller parts and work on feeling more relaxed with each part. Trying to focus on what people are saying rather than just assuming a word. Trying to focus on what people are saying rather than just assuming the worst. I found running every day also helps relieve some anxiety and it makes it easier to deal with my anxious feelings. Reducing your caffeine intake is also a great way to in reduce anxiety levels because caffeine amplifies those thoughts and feelings. So thank you for listening to, talk to me talking about my social anxiety and I hope if you have social anxiety this makes you feel less alone and you can always like talk to me or someone you trust is better and a friend or an adult um, about it and it's really important that if you think you have social anxiety you get help because it makes you feel so much less alone and like you're you know part of community instead of uh, just being on your own so yeah really important you get help or just yeah get if you have social anxiety it's really important to get help and talk to someone that you trust about it and how you're feeling and hopefully they can make you feel better. So if you want to see more Star Stable videos, then subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram, olympia.peacechild, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!